and welcome to the session. Let us discuss the following question. The question says, find the mean deviation above the mean for the data in exercises 5 and 6. This is the data given to us. Before solving this question, we should know that what is meant by deviation of an observation x from a fixed value a. By deviation of an observation x from a fixed value a, we mean the difference between x and a, that is x minus a. Observations are the given values which we call as x1, x2, x3, so on, xn. Now we are going to learn the steps which are involved in the calculation of mean deviation about mean of a discrete frequency distribution. In first step, we find the mean of the given data by using the formula x bar is equal to 1 by n into summation i varying from 1 to n fi xi, where n is equal to summation i varying from 1 to n fi. In the second step, we find the deviation of each xi from x bar, that is x1 minus x bar, x2 minus x bar, so on, xn minus x bar. In the third step, we find the absolute value of each deviation, that is drop the negative sign if it is there, that is mod of x1 minus x bar, mod of x2 minus x bar, so on, mod of xn minus x bar. In the fourth step, Find the mean of the absolute values of the deviations. This mean is the mean deviation about mean. That is, mean deviation about mean is equal to 1 by n into summation i varying from 1 to n, fi into mod of xi minus x bar, where n is equal to summation i varying from 1 to n, fi. Always remember these steps. We will be using these steps for solving this question. Let's now begin with the solution. Now let's make a table. We have written the given data in the first two columns of this table. Now we will find fi, xi since we need this for calculating mean. In the first row, value of xi is 5 and value of fi is 7. So we have 5 into 7 and 5 into 7 is 35. Then we have 10 into 4. 10 into 4 is 40. Then we have 15 into 6. 15 into 6 is 90. Then we have 20 into 3. 20 into 3 is 60. And at last we have 25 into 5 and this is 125. We know that mean is equal to 1 by n into summation i varying from 1 to n fi xi where n is equal to summation i varying from 1 to n fi. So let's first calculate n. n is equal to summation i varying from 1 to n. Now here n is 5 as the number of observations is 5 fi. This is equal to 7 plus 4 plus 6 plus 3 plus 5. This is equal to 25. So sum of all these frequencies is 25. Now we will find summation i varying from 1 to 5 fi xi. Now this is equal to 35 plus 40 plus 90 plus 60 plus 125 and this is equal to 350. So sum of all this is 350. So mean of the given data, that is x bar is equal to 1 by n into summation i varying from 1 to 5 fi xi. Substitute both the values. 
This is equal to 1 by 25 into 350 and this is equal to 40. The mean of the given data is 14. Now we will find xi minus x bar. In the first row, xi is 5, so we have 5 minus 40, and 5 minus 14 is minus 9, then we have 10 minus 14, 10 minus 14 is minus 4, then we have 15 minus 14, 15 minus 14 is 1, 20 minus 14 is 6, 25 minus 14 is 11. Now we will find mod of xi minus x bar. Absolute value of minus 9 is 9, absolute value of minus 4 is 4, and absolute value of 1, 6, and 11 is 1, 6, and 11. Now, in the last column, we will find fi into mod of xi minus x bar. In the first row, fi is 7. And mod of xi minus x bar is 9. So we have 7 into 9. 7 into 9 is 63. Then we have 4 into 4. 4 into 4 is 16. Then we have 6 into 1. 6 into 1 is 6. Then we have 3 into 6. 3 into 6 is 18. Then we have 5 into 11. And 5 into 11 is 55. On adding all this, we get 158. So summation... I varying from 1 to 5, Fi into mod Xi minus X bar is 158. Now required mean deviation about mean is equal to 1 by N into summation. I varying from 1 to 5, Fi into mod xi minus x bar. This is equal to 1 by 25 into 168 sorry 158 this is equal to 6.32 hence our required answer is 6.32. So this completes the session. Bye and take care.